What is up you guys, ADJC1559 here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to get the upgraded KT4, the Masamune, on, uh, I was gonna say the Eisendrak, uh, Zetsubo no Shima. Uh, this, uh, gun is pretty alright, pretty good, pretty good, definitely better than the original. Uh, anyway, if you're only here for a specific step, these are the times you can go ahead and skip ahead to in the video to take you there immediately. Uh, everybody else, uh, just keep watching. Alright, so for the first step, you're going to need to fight the uh, spider boss on the map. Um, it's uh, located in the 115 water, the blue 115 water uh, at Lab A. You're going to need the original KT4 to do it, but uh, you just shoot the webs, plop on down here, and uh, boom, uh, kill the spider. It's not that hard, but uh, it's a little bit of a challenge. Anyway, come on over to the spider's dead body and pick up its fang. You're going to need it. So this next step is a little bit complicated and spans over a course of about three or four rounds. But uh, you're going to need to come over here to this area where the bodies and stuff are being tested. And uh, go inside one of this, uh, this sewer here. And uh, what you're trying to do is grab that right there. You just saw it. That blue uh, 115 or oil thing, whatever it is. But here, watch it again. It's over there on the right side there. That's when you got to hit your action button and uh, grab it immediately. It's not very hard to miss, and I'm sure, uh, I think the game gives you a good, like, you know, a window of opportunity to be able to pick it up. But uh, if, you j if you need any more help on getting it, just replay the video a few times, and uh, you'll be able to uh, score it. But, uh, yeah, you're going to need that. Now, before you do anything else, uh, there is something you're going to need. You're going to need the Skull of Nansapwe. If you don't know how to do that, uh, I have a tutorial down in the description below, or you can click on the screen now. But uh, what you're going to need to do is come over here to this purple water place and mesmerize this poster that's on the wall here. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little tricky and a little weird why you would do this, but uh, apparently this is the part of, of this uh, easter egg here. You just mesmerize that part, that poster on the wall, and uh, then you can mesmerize other uh, objects around the map and reveal things. So head on down over to the uh, watery area, you know, that long water tunnel at the end of the, uh, in that room with all the bodies, you know, the, the, that room. But, uh... Head on over into it and uh, swim all the way to the bottom, all the way to the deep part, because uh, you're going to need to plant a seed down here. So you will need a seed, but uh, pull out your skull of Nansapwe and go ahead and get to uh, Mesmerize in here. It'll reveal the secret room, and then plant your seed and water it with that rainbow water you picked up from that uh, sewer. And you're going to need to be able to come down here every single round for three rounds, three or four rounds from now on. Because you need to come down here and you need to water the plant uh, with your special rainbow water. Um, but you cannot miss a round, you guys. It's absolutely important that you have to do it every round. Anyway, continue to do this until eventually you'll get a beautiful looking plant. Now, um, I've heard that picking up this plant is a little bit fidgety at the moment, but uh, just spam your action button. You should be able to uh, pick it up. All right, so for this next and final step, you're going to need to do all the challenges on your totem. Here at the uh, skull area, you have these four totems, uh, one for each player if you're playing in a four-player game. But uh, you need to complete all three of your challenges. And if you're playing in a game with co multiple people, like co-op, all of them, every single player in the game has to complete all of their challenges. And that's a little bit annoying, but um, eventually you'll get this lightning to strike. Uh, it'll electrify your shield, and your shield will have this uh, electrical field over it. So take your electrical shield over to lab B, this cage right here on your right, and then melee that panel with your shield out. It should open this door, and you can step inside this cage. Get in the cage and have your friend lower you down. Uh, now, if you're playing solo, the cage should lower down itself on its own, but um, if you're playing co-op, your buddy has to lower you down. Uh, you'll lower down and then go past the ground, past this uh, opening here. Go down into this place and you'll find this skeleton with a little liquid divinium vial sticking out. Now, uh, if you're playing on co-op, your buddy has to hit the panel to bring you back up. 
but uh, if you're solo you should come back up automatically after a little while. Now finally take all the parts and head on down into the uh, place where you picked up the original KT4 and uh, over here on this table instead of the one where you picked it up place it and uh, wait a little bit let it do its thing and then you'll be able to pick up your upgraded KT4 it's called the Masamune and it's really good. Why leave such potentially valuable item lying here? So that's it you guys. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, awesome tutorial, and if you like videos like this, subscribe, because I put out a lot like it. And, uh, you know, I've got them coming out on my channel all the time, all these tutorials and stuff, because I'm like crazy about the zombie maps. But yeah, uh, drop me a like if it helped you out, and uh, yeah, later.